Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see what's the difference between Excel functions and VBA functions. There are hundreds of Excel functions, also called Excel built-in functions. And you can find them here under formulas or simply go into FX to insert one of these uh, functions. I'm pretty sure you've used a lot of them. So for example, let's say we want to sum here. All of this, we would use the sum function for the range, right, to get the result. Or actually, we could simply use the auto sum, which is doing it automatically for us. Now, if we want to use that same function in our macro, we can actually, let me go to the Visual Basic Editor and say functions macro, we could actually insert the formula itself in that range. Uh, that would be range a5.formula. And here we could say is equal to sum of a1 through a4, just like it is here. So we could actually copy paste this over here, so it's the same that I wrote, yeah? And, and then let me remove this. We could now play and get exactly the same, right? Now, the other way we can use these Excel functions in our macros is targeting the worksheet function object. And we've already seen how to work with the worksheet function object. I'm gonna leave the link up here so that you can check that video to know more about it. So that would be worksheet function dot. And as you see, we get here all the methods of the worksheet function object, which are actually all the Excel built-in functions. So if we use the function sum, and then we put here the range A1 through A4, we're gonna get the exact same result. We can put, of course, this into a variable Right, and if we display that in a message box, we see we get exactly the same value, right? So we are still talking here about Excel functions, Excel built-in functions, and we can also have Excel custom functions or user-defined functions. I've covered that in another video. I'm gonna leave the link up here. So have a look there if you're interested to know how to create Excel custom or user-defined functions. But now let's see what are VVA functions. So let me add a commentary here. These are actually Excel built-in functions. You can also call it um, worksheet functions. Right now, down here we're gonna see what are VVA functions, and these are independent standalone functions that work with Visual Basic code. Very often they have an equivalent worksheet function. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Let's say we have a variable old version, and that's Microsoft Excel 2013, and we want to replace some text in this string. So we could actually use a worksheet function. There's a worksheet function for that. Worksheet function dot replace. You see it here. And as you see, it accepts four arguments. That's the string variable, in this case, old version. Then the position where we want to replace one or more characters. And we want to replace here 2013, which actually starts at position 17. And then we want to replace four characters and we want to replace it with 2016. And we're gonna put that into another variable, which is new version. If we display that, let me comment all of that here. If we display that in a message box, we're gonna get Microsoft Excel 2016. Now we can do exactly the same with a VBA function. And actually in this case, is much uh, simpler. So if we simply use replace, and here, as you see, there's more information of what we need to what we need to add. We need an expression as a string, which is actually the old version, and then we need what we want to find. We want to find 2013 
and we want to replace it with 2016. Now let me comment this one now and now we're going to see the result for the new version using the VBA function. You see it's the same result, uh, Microsoft Excel 2016, but we've used a VBA function which is replace. So this is the difference between a uh, Excel built-in function or Excel worksheet function and a VBA function. In this case, and very often, the VBA function is more convenient when writing the code. And in some other cases, we do not have an Excel function. We need to use the VBA function. Now, let me show you another example. We can get the letter position in this, our variable, old, old version, with the VBA function in string. It accepts a start parameter that we are going to omit. We will use then the old version variable here. And we're going to look for the letter E. Now, if we display the letter position, and let me comment this one here, it returns number 11, because E is actually the 11th character in this string. So in string is a very useful VVA function. But guess what? There's actually a worksheet function or Excel function that does almost the same work, and that's the search function. So we could actually do something similar as well with worksheet function dot search that access basically the same parameters, but in a different order. So we need to start with the letter we want to find or the string we want to find. Yeah, let's say we want to find Excel. And then we get here the string variable where we want to find that letter or that text, all version. And then at the end, we can set the start position. Similar to the parameter that we omitted in the in string here, we have to add it is position one. So we're going to start from, so we're going to start from the first character. Now, if I display this we're going to get the exact same number, position 11, because Excel, the word Excel, starts at position 11. It would be the same if we just write E here. But again, you can see what's the difference between an Excel function or worksheet function and a VBA function. So in this series or this playlist, we are going to actually focus on VBA functions. We're going to see some of the most important functions to help you create macros. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.